this is the, the this is where you had a song that was so popular that for a while you couldn't avoid it. It was a national earache. And you heard it. You heard it in, in coming coming out in, in every cabaret, every restaurant, every theater, uh, every every dance hall. Just just and and uh, vaudeville stage, and of course eventually yes on the radio too. Uh, there would be the, the, this ubiquitous song, which for months would just pound at your ear, to, and and uh, and so periodically, someone would write a rejoinder, an anti that song song, um, and uh, uh, and and this this the, this tradition. I don't know how far back it goes. I'd like to see some like 18th century. Dude, you know, like complaining about Mozart or something, but uh, anyhow, but this this is a, a phenomenon that began with the mass-produced song of Tin Pan Alley, and uh, so I mean, for example, this is one of the earliest ones that we have. It's um, uh, the Merry Merry Widow Waltz. Do you know that one? <laughs> Mr. James Hart. Here we go. Okay. Now you can't even turn this and just turn it on. Um, just, just click the little chromium switch okay. there. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Oh my God. Wow. Am, I, am I coming through? Yes. Yeah. You are. Even, even, with, even with even with back wow. reverb. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's okay. I don't want so much reverb. Okay. Oh. okay. All right. Here we go. You ready? with grass. 
grandma bones make you a wreck. I even a parrot way up in a garret has got the whole score in his neck. of a song, and if he ever catches up with the guy that wrote it, that guy will suffer major bodily mayhem. Um, and uh, and this, 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 <laughs> uh, this underlying conception never changes from song to song. It's interesting how, how alike these are. It's, uh, there, there's a, there's a, it, it gives me faith in the human physio physiological responses to music. It's uh, you know, very <laughs> consistent. <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, I, I hope that was nothing valuable. No, that's okay. It's the chair. Oh, all right, okay. It's just your collection. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, anyhow. But it was so, Joab uh, Gershwin's chair. Yeah, this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so anyway, so here's here's my here's my next song on this upon this 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 topic. This is. Um, uh, and I need some help from the uh, peanut gallery on this one. Okay, all right, so this is it. So, uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Crazy! 
Hey, I can't stand it any longer. Hey, hey, what's the matter for you? What's the matter for you here? What's the matter with me? Yeah, what's the matter yeah. for you? I've got the yes. I've got the banana blue. And when I hear it, oh, how I fear it. It's just like getting bad news. It hasn't got a bit of A million pianos Day by day and week by week It's yes, we have no bananas Every time that Greek meets Greek It's yes, we have no bananas B A N A N A Yes, no, take them away I've got the yes We have no banana blues Today This is this is a pernicious habit that has gone on throughout. You know, it's like let a song become popular, and an anti-song will crop up. And uh, this is an early, an, again, another early example. Like from this is from the uh, early ragtime days.